Okay, now, okay, the cool thing about just one scale is you build your chord functions off of it. Now, the way you build a chord, okay, these are called triads because they're chords that are made up of three notes each. It's so simple. So, okay, you have, you have your, we'll start with C, okay? Let me, all right, I'm gonna start with C, which is the first note of the C major scale. And here's our scale here, okay? And C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now what you do is you're gonna just skip the middle guy. So we're gonna, so we're not gonna use D, we're gonna go C to E. So come down here and go C, skip the D, go to E. Damn it. <laughs> okay, C, E, skip the F, go to G. And the way that you count the notes of the scale would be this C is one. You always count the first one, one. I'll, I'll get uh, to that later because that's a whole thing of itself. Anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and back to one again. And the way we label them is like this, okay? There's a reason. The capital Roman numerals are major, lower cases are minor, and I'll get to that too. One, two, three, four, Five. A is six. B is seven. With a little circle there, because it's that makes a diminished. I'll get to that. And then we're back to one again. Okay, so that's something that you have to uh, memorize also. It's supposed to be. Oh, sorry. It's a five, six, seven there. Kind of hard to write with crayon. Anyway, so I'll show you how to do these and what they mean because they're really important. So you just skip the middle guy. So you take the one, the three, and the five, okay? And that makes a, let me cover that up because that's for later. That makes your one chord. And we'll get just going right along here. We'll do the D. F, A, that makes your two chord. E, G, B is your three chord. F, A, C is your four. G, B, D is your five, that's your dominant. These all have names. I'll get to that in a minute. A, C, E is your six. B, D, F is your seven. And that's it, okay? Because we're not gonna start over with C again. So, why is this important? Well, if, you learn intervals, we can, okay. Um, okay. A C, E, G chord is going to be, let's see. 